the lady from Kalamazoo? Yes. Uh, who, when she had nothing to do, would sit on the stairs counting her hairs. 8,902. Who wrote that? Um, and who are you? Anonymous. Peter? Retab, Driab. Peter. I'm a collector of serious poetry. Okay, what should I mean? What I'd like you to do is to say your name in the, in the camera. And give you a poem? And, and, and I'll make you a poem because you're a control freak. So I got through Yale on Masterpieces of World Literature. Did you really? Yeah, it, it synopses every book and you just read that and then you take your right. test. <laughs> oh my God. Cheating, in other words. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to hey, yes, here we go again. We're back to cheating. <laughs> do, you, do you have a name or you just, you know, um, we should we call you the bone collector? I think. I'm a little bit closer to Bone Collector than any known name. What's it like when you get older? When you get old, your, your eye dries up, your aqueous humor. So you're near side, you're far side. Don't you think you should have a license of kids if you have to have a driver's yeah. license? We can't manage our population. We can't do anything right. It's just out of control. No one even mentions it. How about Geldorf and Bono as authorities on oh. how to do good? They're meeting with Bush to tell them how to do good. Do-gooders are doing bad, basically. Okay, you want to be clever? Jeez. My oh. neighbor was stopped his for, for his car to be stolen. I have he got out of the car and was shot dead. One? Where one I, this was given to me uh, two a week ago in the, on safari by his like six-year-old son. There you go. I can't be the Mother Teresa of the world, but I appreciate your humanitarian stance. It doesn't even matter, it's French. Did she have something? It, it you is. have to deserve French. You can control it. I made a phone call downstairs, right? And, 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 and to somebody who's, who's the most renowned person on the continent of Africa, right? And I consider myself to know a lot. And you always said to me, I said, a friend of mine, I mentioned to you where you're going because I was thinking of some stuff. He said, oh, gosh, right now is just such the low point at that place. He so, is so naive. I was there during the Imam Mau emergency. But now, but Peter, but it made sense. Everything you said to me made sense. Exactly. I didn't realize how Stone. bad. It is Stone no, Age real. Really nice. get, get real. No, really mean it. I'm for Darwin because Darwin is true. We are liars. We're anti-Darwin, anti-evolution, and we're unwilling to consider diversity in evolution. I'm not against anything. I'm for nature. Africans are closer to nature. We are fucked up. But what if they don't know how to behave? Have you ever seen Harvey Weinstein's behavior? Who? Harvey Weinstein. I used to collect Harvey Weinstein's stories. We are uneducated and we're unevolved. Shay, let me ask you a question. But the trick is to understand the horizontal expansion. Yes, I do. Basically, it's balancing. Um, it's balancing, you know, your interests with other people's interests, in which you can get a symbiotic or mutually beneficial relationship, and understanding how it's going to impact each, you know, person inside right. the overall plan. And that's what we don't know how to do. So we don't know how to educate. Yeah, we're fucked up. What so basically, mean? I educate myself. We're a country myself. of animals. Are you religious? No fucking way. Are you spiritual? I hate that word. Because right? humans don't deserve these respectful words. I don't even use respect. Cairo is too young a wife for you, Nile. <laughs> I know a guy called Nile. Baby. I know a guy named Cairo. It's just that every word we've turned into such a cliche. Like, we were talking about designer model, uh, ecology, all these words, people, you just break out laughing or something. And there's no value. Words there's no value anymore. to these important words. Cinerary out. It's called this like... so good. It's like a death mask. Yeah, exactly, right? Give me a heavenly glance when you get a chance. Oh, the oh, shadow is brilliant. Do you head. like the color? Just, just come and look over my shoulder. I guess it. I guess it. Look your head up more. Yeah, there it is. That's better light there. Really good light here. Oh, look at button, her, look press, at the. Press I, that button and you still. Love it. The six keep, keep going, though. It's really good. You know, you know I like the, the, the dichotomy of the conversation with Halliburton and this. Yeah. That, that, that's interesting. But I've never heard Cheney uh, address a question that he couldn't answer. That fucker is so smart. This is such a good visual, I'm telling you. Is, uh, He's very smart. Yeah. 
God, this is so good. I think of it like, uh, you know, the yep. great portraits done on the deathbed. You can feel it when it's full. Like, like yeah. Aegon, Sheila on his deathbed, they're so great. Peter doesn't like gimmicks. If I burn my fingers, I'll give you the steaks. Peter, what do you mean by gimmicks? Uh, anything. Hats. I hate hats. Oh, you mean, the, okay, the, do you really? Only yes, I do. Necessary. Because they're so gimmicky. Models are always wearing their cute little fucking hats. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, we're out of tape. It's just hold on. Over. Five, four, three. What's your name? Peter. Reteb Driad. Peter Beard. Peter Beard. Thank you, Peter.